video of booktube now as you can see from the first video i did learn that i need to flip the phone around <laughs> so i'm a little embarrassing but hopefully it'll be a memorable first video for this time around i decided i would show you my to be read now this is my current bookshelf at the moment because my previous bookshelf is falling apart and i need a new one so this is my little immediate to be read and i thought i'd go through and show you so here we go the first of my TV read after Rose Blood is the Raven Boys series. So I've got Raven Boys and The Dream Thieves by Magus Deveda. Probably saying her name wrong. But yeah, I have heard amazing things about this and I can't wait to learn and middle the boys. And I'll, again, I'll post a review after all these once I've read them. If you've read any of the books, please tell me your thoughts. I'd love to hear them. So moving on to the next one. Also, I don't know if you remember, but in my first video, I mentioned that I had a book buying problem slash bookish merch buying problem. That's some of the bookmarks I've bought. And it makes Hedwig look like a little bit of a cockatoo. <laughs> Let's just say I have a lot of choice for what bookmarks I can use. Anyway, back to the two we read. The next one after the Raven Boys will be... Oh, Cedric. The next one after the Raven Boys will be the Red Queen series. Now, me and my friend uh, Bookish Brooklyn over on Bookstagram are taking on these as all buddy reads. So if you want to join us, let us know. After the Raven Boys, I'm not really sure on what order, but I'm just going to start with this one, the Red Queen series. Now, this sounds a really different to other stuff I have read before. And it's by Victoria Aveyard, so I'm really excited to read this one too. Next on the series quest is the Shiver series by Magus Devada again. Now this sounds super intriguing and a little bit like a book I've read before. Let's just say I love a book based on these things, so I can't wait. A lot of these, I think all of them except maybe one, I got from um, recommendations on Bookstagram. So I'm really excited to uh, chat with the friends and you guys want to hear about all these books. After that series, or really, as I said, they're in no particular order. After they finish that series, are we on to the Throne of Glass series? Now, I'm really excited. I've said that about every single one of these books. But I am really excited to read these because I love the Akatar series. And I'm hoping I'm going to love the Throne of Glass series just as much. So, yeah. The next one I to be read is Six of Crows by Lee Bardo. I have never read a heist book before. So I'm super intrigued to read this one. And so that's all of the series quests that we're going to do so far. Uh, otherwise, after that, I'm going to be doing some standalones or series that I'm doing on my own. The first of those is I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. Now, I have heard amazing things about this book, and it's been on my to be read for way too long. I've literally had this book for about a year, so I must read it this year. Next is Never Night by Jay Kristoff. Again, this is a, a book like I've never read before. Um, the way that the chapters are set up in this book is just so beautiful. I have never seen it done like that before. Like, awesome. And it has such a pretty cover. It just draws you in. So yeah, if you read this book, please let me know what you thought. Next up is the trilogy, but the third book's not out yet, by Brittany Cavaliero, which starts with A Study in Charlotte. Now this is a, like a retelling of the original Sherlock Holmes story, except it's not Sherlock and Watson, it's their ancestors, and it sounds really cool. It's like a YA twist on a classic, so I, yeah, loved any sort of crime or mystery books, and yeah, I'm really excited to read these. After that one, we've got Bittersweet Love by Michael Forder. Now, I love Dirty Pretty Things so much. I never thought I would be really be into poetry after school, but this book and some other poetry books I have on my to be read just are so amazing. And yeah, if you haven't read Dirty Pretty Things or this one, Bittersweet Love, definitely check him out. Oh, so amazing. Thank you for the poetry. Up next, Ruby Cool. I'm probably saying her name wrong. I've attempted about five times already to say it. I'm so sorry if I'm getting it wrong. But yeah, this one sounds so moving. Oh, it sounds so intense and amazing. And I'm tempted to buddy it on with my current read because I'm dying to read it so much. And unfortunately, it'll probably be at the end of the series because, yeah. But, oh, if you haven't read it, go and check it out. I already know it's going to be a lot of it. So, yeah. The next up is The Little Prince by Anton de Soc-Supery. I probably said his name wrong, 
Sorry if I got the name wrong there, but I've heard, again, amazing things. Apparently, this book is life-changing and is at the top of a lot of people's recommended reads. So, yeah, I'm surprised I haven't already smashed it out considering how small it is. But I just wanted to give it the time it is due. So, I'll be doing it at the end of the series quest as well. Guys, we're down to the final two on my immediate to-be-read. Again, this is my immediate to-be-read. My actual to-be-read would probably... Yeah, I'll go through that when I get my new bookcase. It would be at least three shelves big. So the second last one is Caraval by Stephanie Garber. Now I, again, am very excited to read this. I loved The Night Circus. Um, it's one of my favorite books. And I think this is a tiny bit similar. We're in the same kind of theme. So yeah, I'm very, very intrigued. Last but certainly not least is Heartless by Marissa Meyer. Now, I went as a Queen of Hearts to my 21st, so I am very pumped to read this book. I can see that she does a few other retellings, and I haven't um, really looked too much into those, so let me know if you've read Scarlet, Crest, Cinder, Winter. I showed them in the wrong order, but apparently this one is going to break my soul. <laughs> And yeah, I've seen a few people's reactions to this and it makes me really, really intrigued. So that's my chibi read, guys. Now, I'm always up for more book recommendations. Not that I should really be buying any more books, but please hit me up with any recommendations you think I might like or if you've read any of these, let me know and we'll chat about them. See ya. Bye. So the first of my TV read after the Rosebud book that I'm reading at the moment. I just want to check. Victoria. Oh fuck. What's her name? Victoria Avian. Next on the series quest is. Oh fuck. <laughs> so after that will be Milk and Honey by R Ruby Cooper. Ruby Car. <laughs> Ruby Cooper. <laughs> Ruby. Ruby. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> In keeping with the poetry theme, next up is Priest. Okay, cool. Okay. In keeping with the poetry theme, the next one on the list. <laughs> Christy. <clears throat> next up on the list. In keeping with the poetry theme is Milk and Honey by Ruby Kapoor. Kapoor. <laughs> It might be a girl. No. That's true. It's not really not a girl, surely. No, here's stories. 